been in church for 30 years and you know how to say amen at all the right points and how to dress up for church. God has a mission for you. He looked at you and said, before you were born, I appointed you, I set you apart on a mission. And Jeremiah looks back at him in verse 6 and goes, um, yeah, God, um, I can't speak for you. Uh, I'm too young. Everybody's got an excuse. Uh, I'm too old. I'm too young. I don't know enough about God. I'm too busy. I'm not busy enough. I don't have any skills. I have too many skills. I have too many kids. Wait, that's me. I, I got some, there's some reason, and God says, the Lord replies, verse 7, don't say I'm too young. Don't say I'm too old. Don't say I'm too rich, too poor, too busy, too not busy, too uneducated. For you must go wherever I send you and say whatever I tell you to do. And don't be afraid of the people, for I will be with you and will protect you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Then the Lord reached out and touched my mouth and said, Look, I put my words in your mouth. I don't care how uneducated you may feel, how unprepared you may be. God speaking, working through you can do anything He wants to do. Anything He calls you to do, He can accomplish because it's not about your power, it's the fact that God is now living inside you. Amen. The Holy Spirit then becomes the driving force of fire living in our lives. At this point, I can tell. Some of you are fascinated. Huh, I'm wrestling with that. Some are going, yep, heard that sermon before. Been in church for 30 years, I got that one. Last night, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm reading some, some of where you may be at. But let me tell you this. The logical conclusion of this story is, is the church as we know it is about 95% apostasy. That means in rebellion against God. Because in North America, our mindset of church is a place to come and huddle with other believers and have a great, inspiring talk, woo and go back to life. And we got the pastor who gets to head up ministry and lead the church in ministry. And this is wrong because according to this concept that you and I are all filled with the same spirit means that you and I as part of the church are filled with the passion of God and the passion of God is people who are hurting which means every one of us is entrusted with mission. Amen. 